Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be installing a dynamic car hood LED strip onto our Chevy Equinox here. This was sent to me by a company called Silverholder, so I want to give them a huge shout out and a big thanks. So this installation will be the same on any vehicle you do it on. The only difference obviously is the shape and the edge of your vehicle. So this particular vehicle has some weather stripping behind the headlights and it had some right there. I have to take it off because it's not going to leave enough room for the light to shine through between the hood. So we're going to go ahead, get that started real quick. So your headlights may have on modern vehicles, a little strip like that just comes off fairly easy. This actually broke a bit, but that's not to worry. And then the other piece I took off off camera was just this little piece. They just sit inside here. They need to come off to give us a good spot to adhere to. Our next step is to take some rubbing alcohol and wipe down the surface that you're going to be sticking the light strip to. All right, so next what you wanna do is you wanna open up the box here and inside you have your strip with the wires on it that we're gonna connect. So it says 71 inches. However, when I measured it, it's actually 70 and a half inches. So just go ahead and measure it and find the center point and I've gone ahead and marked it just on the tape there. So we're gonna go ahead and start sticking this down. Now, when you're sticking this down, just take a look at it. It may be hard to tell on camera, but this is slightly clear on one side and the other's just white. The clear side here is where the LEDs actually are. So make sure that is facing out so that your lights shine properly. All right, so on your vehicle, the next step you wanna do is take your black wire on the end of your LED strip and attach it to an unpainted bolt on the frame of your vehicle. On my specific vehicle, it actually has a specific ground point here, this bolt. I've gone ahead and loosened it up and we're just going to thread it underneath and tighten it back down. Now with that in place, nice and snug, it is now grounded. So we're gonna go ahead and wire it. It's going right into our fuse box. All right, so I find this easiest to go into the fuse box because it's all under the hood, no messing around under the vehicle. So to do this, we're gonna use a piggyback fuse and I'll put a link in the description for this style of one. So we're gonna be taking out the fuse for our DRL or fog lights and replacing this into that location. And then it has a built-in 15 amp fuse if we open this up. And then this wire, this third wire, will connect to our red wire that comes from our LED strip. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. All right, so I actually found this household electrical connector. We're just gonna put that on the end of it. And we don't need to worry about this being waterproof. If it needs to be waterproof, you might wanna shrink wrap it, but this is going inside of our fuse box. So we're just going to open up our fuse box here and your lid will have a map as to which one to take out. All right, so right here is the fuse we need to remove. And we're just going to place the piggyback in just like that. We're gonna tuck this guy in so it's all out of the way. Close up your fuse box. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and see how it looks. All right, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna give you another shot of it when it gets a little darker and it's gonna look absolutely amazing. And we have LED lights on our low beams. So it all goes nice and well together. All right, so it's the dead of night now, nice and dark, so we're gonna test it out, see how it looks. Now, that's pretty awesome. One last thing to note, off camera, I just zip tied all those wires that you saw loose, so make sure you zip tie them and tidy them up so they're not floating around in your engine bay. So that's all there is to this one, folks. I highly recommend these. 
I'll put a link in the description below where you can get them. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.